Hi there, this is Tina Heisman, Certified Master Life Coach, specializing in marriage. Thank you so much for joining the call today. We have a great topic full of good news. Before we get started on that, I want to let you know that I have a free, private, Happy Wives community on Facebook. You can come there to get inspiration for your marriage. And it is, I want to stress that it's a happy place. It's not a place where we come to uh, put our husbands down. It's a place where we come to learn and uh, work on being the best version of ourselves. And so you can find it at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash the happy wives community. And if that's too much to write down right now, you can just head over to my website at your convenience. It's tinaheisman.com, and there's a banner at the front of the page. So let's dive in. The topic for today's call is shattering the myth of the 50% divorce rate. I am shocked by this news. I really, everything I've always heard ever is that the divorce rate is 50%. Well, just last week, I was looking into purchasing another one of Shanti Feldhahn's books, and I discovered this book that she published in 2014. It's called The Good News About Marriage. Now, Shanti Feldhahn is a social researcher specializing in relationships. So she, she kind of got there by accident into the focusing on relationships, but a couple other of the books that she's written – are for women only and for men only, and also the surprising secrets of highly happy marriages. I believe that's the way that you pronounce that. So she is an expert on relationships, and I was so shocked to come across this little treasure of a book. I'm reading it now. I'm only, I don't know, in the beginning, maybe a third of the way through or something, the purpose of this book, The Good News About Marriage, is where she's revealing the truth about five huge marriage myths. So the first marriage myth is the divorce rate. And any of the other myths that I um, uncover as I read it, I'll come back another time and share with you guys. But for today, we're going to focus on this um, 50% divorce rate. And here's what I love about Shanti and what I'm about to tell you. You know, obviously, this is all based on data. And so it's logical and it makes sense and you're going to be excited about what you hear. So the way this book got started in this project about researching the divorce rate is that Shanti was working on a story um, that she was writing and she asked her research assistant to please go find the latest research, the latest statistic on the current divorce rate. And what her researcher brought back to her, she found conflicting. And it wasn't like all adding up to her. And so it kind of unknowingly launched her into an eight-year study of the statistics. Eight years. Who would think it would take eight years to study statistics on divorce? Isn't it black and white? You know, did you get divorced or did you not? We're not going to get into all of those details. But she said the information is just really complex. And it's not just as easy as finding the current divorce rate, that there's so many factors involved. But what she concluded after her eight years of research is that the divorce rate is not 50%. She says it's never even come close to 50%, even during the peak time around the early 1980s when divorces were happening a lot. And I guess that was something that had to do with in the 70s, there was a law passed that um, made it easier to get divorces. Um, like nobody had to be at fault. You could just get a divorce if you wanted to. So um, that's pretty impressive that it's never even gotten close to 50%. How did we come up with this number of 50%? My goodness. I think assumptions were made. So the actual divorce rate overall, this is an actual overall divorce rate. It's closer to 30%. So that's 20% difference. So the divorce rate for first-time marriages is lower than 30%. According to Census Bureau data from 2009, 72% of people are still married to their first spouse. 
So that means the divorce rate is only between 20 and 25% for first-time marriages. That's hugely different than 50%, friends. That's hugely different. Do you know why this is so important? (laughs) This gives couples hope. Think about it. If you know in your mind that 50% of all marriages end in divorce, you just accept this statistic. And I think it makes it easier to agree to not fight for your marriage because you might accept that, well, maybe I'm just on the wrong side of the 50%, right? Well, 50% may get 50% don't. It's kind of a downer of a statistic. And so we just have accepted it all these years. And that affects our mindset in our marriages when we encounter trouble. But what if you believed most marriages make it? And now you're going to agree with me that's true, right? If 70 to 75% of marriages make it, that means most marriages make it. If you knew that most marriages make it, wouldn't that encourage you to fight for your marriage when troubling times come in? Which they will. We all have hard times in our marriages. Wouldn't that belief be that a happy marriage was possible, wouldn't that belief encourage you to work on your marriage when you come across trouble? Doesn't it feel better to say most marriages last a lifetime instead of half of marriages end in divorce? Do you see how this pessimistic view of the divorce rate could actually contribute to divorces? Oh my gosh, you guys, there is such great need in our society about marriage to have hope. We need to recognize that divorce is not inevitable, but most marriages will last a lifetime. What did I say? Divorce is not inevitable. I'm not even sure if I'm making sense in my own head right now. But what I'm trying to say is we need to know that most marriages will last a lifetime. We can assume that our marriage will last. So I want to give you like a little, a different way to think about it. Let's talk about this in terms of giving birth to a baby, right? When we're pregnant as women, we're all told that when we deliver our child, it's like the worst pain ever. But what do you say to yourself to calm your nerves? Think about it. You say, Okay, well, millions of women have successfully given birth over the years. Millions and millions of women have successfully given birth. I can do this too. It's the same principle for making your marriage last. Your thought is, if the majority of marriages succeed, so can mine, right? So it's just a a more positive way to look at it. Here's another awesome statistic, the divorce rate has been steadily declining since 1981. Declining. So there are some risk factors that could contribute to a higher rate of divorce. And here's a few of them. Those people who marry really young, like in their teens and young 20s, people who don't go to college, people who live together before they're married, and people who don't attend religious services. People with those four risk factors have a higher rate of divorce. So what that's saying is if you don't get married way too young, if you go to college, if you don't live together before you get married, and if you attend religious services, your divorce rate is only going to be between 5 and 10%. That is crazy huge. And it doesn't mean you have to have or not have all of these different risk factors. These are the risk factors. I mean, I can tell you guys, my husband and I got married very young. We were in our our early 20s. We were only 21. So I would say that we hit that risk factor there. We did go to college. We did not live together before we were married. And we do attend religious services. So, you know, hopefully those other things will balance us out. But I can definitely tell you, having gotten married so super young, definitely affects how you come into your marriage. You know, we were young and immature. So anyway, you know, I think that you can look at, at your current situation in your marriage and see, assess if you have any of those risk factors. 
But if you don't have any of those risk factors, your risk of divorce is only 5 to 10%. That's enormously awesome. I, this information, I just felt like it unlocked a worry in my head when I read it. I felt like I could breathe a little bit easier. I don't, do you feel that way? Like knowing that most marriages last a lifetime is so much more comforting to me than thinking half of all marriages end in divorce. That's just scary. It's almost like, why do people get married? Your chance is 50, 50. Those are horrible odds. But knowing that your chances are at least 70% or higher, that is a much more of a risk that I would be worth taking. I can tell you for me, believing the divorce rate is 50%, add on top of that that I'm a child of divorce, I came into my marriage with the belief that marriage must be hard. And I came into it thinking that I would have to work hard all the time to be good at it. And I was thinking that I had to work so hard to keep my marriage together. You know, I, I had a lot of hope because I, I thought, wrongly, <laughs> that I saw all the mistakes my parents made. And so then I would correct those mistakes and then my marriage would be guaranteed to last. Well, you know, I made some assumptions on that. But I can tell you, if I would have known the divorce rate was uh, only maybe 5 to 10% for someone in my shoes, that would have felt so much better. This worry in my life, you guys, has been a thorn in my side. And I'm sure it has been a, a thorn in my husband's side, too, because, you know, I was always working so hard at it. What I discovered when, when we went through our very difficult experience in our marriage was that I was doing all the wrong things to keep our marriage together, totally doing the wrong things. So now, if I tell you I'm working hard at my marriage, I'm doing all of the, well, more of the right things, many more of the right things. And so it doesn't feel so hard. You know, when you, when you learn how to be in marriage and how to be the best version of yourself, it's much easier. But just that small statistic statistical change is enormous. And so I just want you guys to rest assured when your husband comes home from work after you listen to this, after we talk, you know, just if you were like me and worried about the 50% divorce rate, you can let that go. Go there, you know, go to your husband and tell him about this, this new information and that everyone can breathe easier and let's just work on being our best versions of ourselves and then life is going to be so much happier and so much less stressful. So I want to hear what you have to say about this topic. I want to hear if, you, if this is news to you, if you had a suspicion this might be true. Um, I would love to hear what you have to say. So I'm going to unmute the line in just a minute, and we can talk about it. But in the meantime, I want to thank you so much for joining this call today and let you know that I have created a free mini marriage makeover, and that's to help you fix any challenges that you might have in your marriage. It's a great little tool. You can head over to my website, tinaheisman.com, and download your copy for free. And don't forget to join me in the Happy Wives community on Facebook. And, of course, if you're in need of it, I offer one-on-one -on -one marriage coaching for women only. So you could stop by my website or email me to learn more and we, uh, we can talk about it. We can see if coaching with me might be a help for you. Okay, so I'm going to open it up for questions and um, say thank you so much for listening in the meantime.